Hi, in today's video, we will see how easy it is to create an AI agent using UiPath Agent Builder. In order to build an AI agent, so you have to have the Agent Builder enabled on your UiPath tenant and you can proceed from there. Once it is enabled, it will show up in your More section in the bottom. You can either bookmark it or you can just click on this to automatically take you to the agent builder page. So these are the templates of uh, the pre-built agent uh, that are provided by the UiPath team. Either you can click and get started from there or you can build an AI agent from scratch. So let's go ahead and click on new agent and give it a name. So I want to create an employee data agent which can be used by our HR team and uh, the purpose can be querying the information of the of the employee database and system prompt is a place where you will clearly give the instructions to the agent to actually apply these in, in its uh, questioning. So I have my uh, system prompt prepared. It is mentioning that you are a helpful assistant who will help me in getting the information about the employees in, a, in an organization who knows about their salary, bonus and desig designation. Convert the output into a user understandable format. And I will provide my user prompt here. But before providing the user prompt, how will the agent understand from which database or which process it has to get the information from. So in order to do that, you have to provide a tool. So tools are something you will connect the backend processes that are uh, built in UiPath and uh, you can click plus uh, on the plus icon here and you can either choose from the integration service uh, activities or you can click on the process and you can see the pre-built uh, uh, processes that are already there for you. So in our, in our case, I'm going to select the software employee API and uh, which will actually consume uh, an API hosted on GitHub pages and it will give the information. So this is the static API that I have built. If you wanted to see how I built this uh, process software employee API, I will link the video in this description. So please feel free to watch it. It is a very easy and creative way of uh, getting this up and running. Uh, running in a cloud serverless robot fashion. So I would encourage you to watch that. Okay, coming back to our discussion here uh, that we have attached a tool. Uh, that means the process uh, that I wanted to communicate and gather the information that I'm going to ask is going to be a software employee API. And context is coming to the context grounding where uh, we will discuss that in our later videos. But this is morely, more oriented towards uh, the RAG approach uh, the retrieval augmented generation just uh, giving a high level and escalations is the part where let's say if the question that the user asks uh, is not relevant or is not covered in the uh, process right so here we can link this to uh, alarm or alert a human agent where he can address uh, upon this like sending an email or sending some exception email or some kind of things so either you can link a process or you can follow the next things okay we will see this in the next video as well but here let's go ahead and run our question for our question i will ask the bot uh, give me the information of the employee id 103 give me the information of the employee id 103 okay and i will hit run once i hit run what it will do is it will open this playground it will start running using the model GPT-40 uh, that is the chat GPT-40 model and here what it is doing is it is making a call to this particular process which will run in the background perfect it has run and it has given the output and uh, it will give me the output that it will give all the API information and let's see what is the uh, and execution gave as an output for me so it has given me allies Johnson QA engineer, quality assurance department, uh, blah, 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 and all these things. So let's verify if this is right or wrong. Alice Johnson, perfect. 
right it it has given me the correct information i can also ask a couple more questions like uh, give me a couple of data analysts available okay give me some list of data analysts available in the org okay let's see what happens now again it is going to make a call and then once the process has been communicated it is going to give me the end execution uh that analyst available in the organization is charlie green let's see if it is right or wrong perfect so it gave me the right answer which is correct if there are more data analysts it will actually give me the those things so hoping that that is right and going to the evaluation tab this is like more uh, around the test cases that we provide to the model uh, to verify whether the given uh, data is correctly passing or not and traces is again uh, how is like the logs of how many runs that we have made and uh, think like this is the orchestrator logs and this is agent builder logs and how much time the llm call has been taken and what are the settings that we have passed to there it is more oriented uh, towards uh, you know auditing and trailing or audit trail purpose okay that is a small demo uh, i'm going to line up more demos in this uh, agent builder space uh, to explain more features and functionalities so please stay tuned and subscribe to my channel thank you